All right. So, what was I going to do today? I don't remember what I was going to do today. Uh, should I go visit? Oh, I never, oh, I never told Loop what's going on. This is going to be kind of a hard conversation. I don't know if I'm up for that right now. Uh, you know, why not? Right, why not? Let's just get it out of the way. It's fine. Whew, okay. Fine, I'll just get it out of the way. It's gonna be alright. It's fine. It's alright. If I keep saying it's fine, then maybe it'll actually be fine. <laughs> well, they're both over there. It'll probably be easier for me to talk to Luke first. Oh, bruh. Hey, what's up? Okay, uh, I think I made your friend mad, but it's fine. You probably made Bertram mad. He does that sometimes. That yeah. Thing? Uh, okay. How open are you to, uh, having a little bit of a hard conversation? You know me. I'm always open to it. Okay. Uh, it's like a band-aid. Just gotta rip it off, right? Yeah. That's how you do it. Just, why not? Hit me with it. What's up? Okay. You know how when, like, when people die, right? Like, we, we all know what happens, right? You, you know what happens. Yeah. Apparently, someone figured out how to, like, not. <laughs> okay. I feel like I should add more explanation to that. <laughs> I need um, a more context. Yeah, so when people die, right, uh, they sort of become reincarnated and they become someone else. Like, that that's always how it's worked. Uh, yeah. So, me and a friend the other day sort of found out that's not always how it works. I don't know how. You know who the founders are, I obviously. I mean, you taught me about them yeah. when I was a kid, but... Basically, there's one of them who I've never heard of before, who, I guess, found a way to get around that? I don't really know how it works entirely. How do you... You can't just... She's dead. Yeah, you know, that's what I would have thought, too, until, you know, I had proof of it. Not exactly the best proof, either, to be to be completely honest with you. Oh. Um. Kind of proof. Mm, okay. This is a really hard conversation to have! Oh gosh, I thought inside. it would be like- Uh huh? We can go by the campfire, we can go sit by Bertram if you want. Nah, 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 it's okay. Um... Okay. I don't want you to be worried about me, I really don't. I don't want you to be worried about me, okay? Like, I'm, okay. I'm, I want you to know I'm fine, I'm good. Alright. Okay, so think of this guy kind of like a ghost, right? Yeah. Okay. It's sort of like a weird possession scenario. Oh. Uh, with me. Oh. Yeah. I can see yeah. Why I might get concerned over that. Yes. Yeah, maybe- please don't- <laughs> please don't. I, I- like, I'm fine, okay? I'm fine. There's nothing to worry about. Like, I- I'm not- it, it doesn't hurt or anything, like, I'm fine, but, um... It's just- you know, he's- okay, he's not the best 
person. From what I've heard, mm. uh, I, re I don't know if you remember, I told you one of my friends, uh, or I believe I mentioned one of my friends being involved with this. Um, so, I have this friend Creeper, right? And he sort of had a bit of an interaction with this guy. Apparently, he isn't the best person. Oh, God. Like, kind of to a concerning extent, but, like, I don't want you to be worried about it. Uh. Like, what kind of concerning? Like, wanting to kill people concerning? Like. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's. <sighs> very concerning. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, though. So, he's a ghost, right? So he can't do anything unless... Hold on, let me deal with this for you for a second. So, he's a ghost, right? So he sort of needs, like, a body to be able to do really anything. Yes. Which happens to be me, which that that's great. That's fantastic. Um, don't know if you can pick up on my sarcasm with that, but... I can. I... yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so... Oh, God. Yeah. Are you gonna be okay? Like, I... I... Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I mean... You want me to help? You wanna... I don't know how you to help. Dead? This guy's literally dead. <laughs> Okay, fair point. But still, you know, cookies are nice. I can make you some cookies. I don't uh, know I right believe, now, but... I believe I already have some. Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I just, I figured I should probably fill you in on that. I think I'm gonna be okay, just cause, uh, mm -hmm. from, from what my friend told me, he kinda knows what sets it off, and by sets it off, I mean, like, there are certain things that, I guess, he's attracted to in a way where like mm -hmm. if i go to certain places or stuff then i'm more likely for him to be there so yeah Got it. <laughs> so, so i mean as long as uh, like avoid these spots and you'll be okay yeah yeah from from what we know at least as long as i avoid those places i'll be fine that's good uh, i'm to be fair though i don't I don't technically know, because this is just information I've gotten from that friend. Like, I, I don't know this friend too well. I trust him, though. I mean, I don't think he hurt me or anything. He's he's fine, but... <laughs> if he'd hurt you, he'd have another thing coming. Yeah, but... I, I think... I, I don't think he'd lie to me. So... Fair enough. I guess, for now, I'm just kind of gonna avoid <laughs> those places, and I guess... I, I ho hopefully I'll be fine. I I don't see why I wouldn't be. I mean, unless there's, there's some other trigger that we don't know about yet. That would not be good. <laughs> That's a little bit of an understatement. <laughs> yeah, it'll be okay. It'll be fine. You're strong. You don't have to worry about, like, dying or anything like that, certainly. You'll be fine. I lost a- I already lost the kid in life, so... <laughs> Hypothetically, if I just build a big tower into the sky and jump off and lose a cannon wave, I still have four more and I'd be fine. Just no. saying. Give me a reason. Okay, you always do this. You always do this. Give me a good reason why. The value of life is higher than that. You can't just waste it. Oh, we don't even live together anymore. I'm fine. I can handle myself. I can I can handle myself. Okay. Life is like piss. Oh, no! I mean, listen, going by that logic, which I cannot argue with, I could just, just cannon life gone, just saying. No. Well, I mean, Why? five cannon lives, right? So, I mean, five... Um, okay, so it's like only one... one I'm gonna give cannon. myself the Gorefield treatment and crush myself no. in the door! No! Gorefield. See you later! No. We don't talk about what happened to him. 
Uh, like a grape in the door. It was an act. Okay, listen, listen. I would never purposefully kill an animal. I love animals. My proof is my bees, Michael. I love Michael. Um, also, my parrots. Also, uh, my 25 dogs that I've hidden that you haven't seen yet. Also, all my horses. Okay, I love animals. I would never. I would never hurt an animal on purpose. I. I'm just reading. I'm breaking news. Uh, apparently, you killed some chickens and kidnapped a horse. Is this true? Wait, when did I kill your? Ch I killed your fish. It's true. Well, I killed I your mean, fish, I not the, the chickens. What chickens? What chickens did I kill? I know. I know. Probably I killed the fish. Them. Probably all the chickens. No, I didn't kill those. I took- I did kidnap your horse, but I didn't hurt your horse, and the fish thing was an accident because I accidentally blew up a hole in the ground and it- your fish escaped. <laughs> didn't I teach you better than this? I'm sorry! I- Listen, like I said, I would never hurt an animal on purpose. Mason, my cat's spine is much <laughs> like a piece of paper in a book in your I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can get you a new one. I can get you a new one. I, I'm I, also I'm not joking. I'm literally about to canonically give myself the Gorefield treatment. No. Good. Good. <laughs> Experience I'm, the pain can I? Help. Hold on. I'm I'm putting all my stuff in a chest and I'm doing it. <laughs> give me. It's so funny though because when mate when. When, when when Mason accidentally uh, squished Gorefield, right, uh, he didn't even suffer, he just died instantly. It was the funniest thing. But, I mean, I'm, I'm sad because he was best. Is no one else concerned at the fact that the weather keeps changing, but, like, just so rapidly? Yeah, I'm a little concerned about that. Honestly, like, that's a little bit. Actually, the more you... Yeah, that's not normal Minecraft behavior, is it? No. Oh. Well, I mean, that's what climate change will do. Climate yeah. change. Why we can't have nice things. Yeah, like, come on, guys. We have to reduce our carbon emissions. Alright, guys, let's say goodbye carbon. to my 25 levels. What? No, no. Where no. are you? No, Luke. Luke. It's sacrifice. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm stuck. There we go. Where are you? Okay, no, bye, guys. <laughs> no. I'm trying to find it, like... And it doesn't rain in Mesa's, and I genuinely forgot where it is. I see ya, I'm out of here. <laughs> it is done. <laughs> no! Mesa no. has repaid his it. sins. Alright, we're on four, we're on four! <laughs> I was trying to make someone feel better about something I did on accident, and I crushed myself oh, in the door. We're not having this conversation right now about that. I, you know how I feel about lies and everything like that. L listen, I... Okay, here's what happened, right? I was giving someone a tour around, because they're kind of new here. And, uh, there's this door. Uh, not a place that I own. <laughs> I didn't build this place, but... It's a place in, like, the side of this mountain. It's got a huge piston door, right? And I was giving this guy a tour, and, uh, his cat was following him and kind of got crushed in the door. So, to make him feel better, I got crushed in the door. <laughs> and at least I know what it's like to die, which is a weird thing that I never thought I'd be saying. Yeah. Yeah, no. That's not a good thing. It's fine, though. I got four more. I'll be fine. That's like my my go-to right now. If I say I'll be fine, then I'll be fine, right? I mean... If I put it out there into the world, I'll be okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, yeah, I just- I figured I'd let you know about that situation. I'll, I'll probably fill you in a little bit more later, but... Yeah. That's Ooh, just- I, I figured I'd catch it. you up. I do, I really appreciate it. Can I tell your mom, too? You think she'll be alright hearing that, or you want me to hold it off a bit until we know a bit more? Why don't you let her know now? Because then, if I get any other information, I can tell both of you. Good. good. Well, I think she's building her little cottage. I'll go tell her. Alright. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Stay safe, okay? Alright.
Okay, so that one better than expected. I don't know really how I expected it to go. I guess I thought she'd be more worried. I mean, she was worried, but I guess I thought she'd be more worried. Huh. I'll, pro I'll get back to her later. I'll get back to her later and kind of elaborate a little more. I just... I wanted to let her know something going on in my life. We haven't really been around each other for a while. I'm probably since I moved out. Oh. Why don't I uh, see what's going on over here? Hey. Uh, I just got back from uh, informing <laughs> my mom a little bit, well, one of my moms, about what's been going on. I felt like she kind of had the right to know. Yeah, that's probably a good idea to have family know about it. Yeah. I was kind of vague with her, but I, I told her I'd get back to her later if, you know, we figured out anything else or if anything happened. Yeah. Not gonna lie, still a little <laughs> freaked out about what happened, but, you know, my catchphrase for today has kind of been like, if I just say it's fine, then it'll be fine, it'll work itself out. Today's catchphrase is denial. Uh, kinda. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, I just- cause I don't- I don't think either of us really know what's going on <laughs> with this whole situation. So, I'm just hoping that if I'm like, oh, it's fine, it's fine, then, like, it'll work itself out, you know? Yeah. Well, look. Optimism alone rarely solves problems. Well, let's hope it does this time. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, God, that was freaky. Like, you telling me about that? I don't know, I... It's so weird. Is there anything else that, like, you didn't tell me about what happened? Because I know I kind of left a little abruptly. Yeah, there was quite a lot. I'm not actually sure how much I said. I believe it was very little. Yeah, it wasn't much. Uh, basically, ghost dude possession doesn't seem like a good person. <laughs> that was <laughs> pretty much uh, all. That's pretty much all I know. Well, that's a bit of an understatement. He said he was. Was plotting to murder every remnant of the found of the other founders, including myself, presumably. And that's not something you thought to tell me earlier. To be fair, you've left with like thirty seconds. But... Well, yeah, because I, I was pretty. You know, I'd, I'd say I was justified in being freaked out. Okay, so, do we know what he has against anyone? <laughs> or was that all he said? Well, he said he had different ideas about how the world was meant to work. Definitely not ominous. <laughs> yeah, which was, from his perspective, Corporation versus isolationism. It's being isolationism. Big words, yay! <laughs> Basically, everyone works together or everyone sticks to their own stuff. Okay. See, I'm not seeing something wrong with that, but there's probably something there that I'm missing. The fact that he involves it with murder is probably the big red flag then. Yeah, <laughs> you you <laughs> you'd think if someone had different views with you, then you'd just disagree and not be like, "Huh, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna murder them." And anyone who, oh god, anyone who reincarnates from them, you know, oh, that's 
Great. Fantastic. Especially when that category is literally every single other person on the planet. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> you, you know, just just a little. Yeah. He's... Yeah, not a good person is a severe understatement. Okay, is there anything else that we know about him? Because I know there's a lot that you probably didn't tell me. I left really soon. I was so freaked out, man. You, you, you gotta understand how freaked out I was. Yeah, being told that you're half-possessed by a ghost is gonna freak out a lot of people. I yeah. do not do in any way. Yeah. Being possessed, see. not on my agenda. Let's see. He names all his gear Hellfire, except for his golden crown. So that definitely... <laughs> great, that's... Great, fantastic. Not creepy at all. And the fact that he said... He would soon be able to wear the golden crown because. Okay, well, consider. It the, okay, let me cut you off for a second. That's not possible because I have horns. I can't work, like, anything on my head. Yeah. He said they would fall out. And the implications of that, little doozy, are up in the air. I'm not even going to begin to explain how weird that sounds. Most likely, he's going to try and erase you as a component entirely. <sighs> Literally this whole time, all I've been asking myself is like, why me? You know? Why me? Why'd this have to happen to me? <sighs> Like, I just wanna- I just wanna be happy and have my animals, you know? Like, I have a cat, I have birds, I just wanna, you know, hang out with my animals and live a life and farm and, you know? Yes. This is freaky, dude. Not gonna lie. Really freaky. <laughs> I don't like this. Not really sure how to help with that, to be honest. I mean, is there a way we can get rid of him? I'm assuming not that we uh, know of. No, not that I know of. I mean, your lives might not be the same. It's a big if, and not something we should go on, but... I mean, I've died once already, so... I mean, I can just- I can knock out the other four, the only downside to that is, hey, I'll be dead, so... Yeah, I was more thinking if you have four lives because you died, he might still have five. So, if we kill him five times, you might not also die. Big if. Okay, but how would we- how would we kill him, though, hypothetically, right? I mean, probably with a sword. I just- this is such a freaky situation. Like, I don't think, from what you know, has anyone been through anything like this before, or... Like, is there anything we can look off of? I mean, since we had our conversations, I've looked through some archives, but... Haven't... Yeah. Not much of use so far. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's mostly just hearsay and legends 
think he's kind of basically satanic, which is semi-accurate, but yeah. I, I cannot express how much I do not like this whole situation. I really don't. I just want to live my life. That's the thing, maybe it's just... He's reincarnated as, like, the opposite of him, I guess. I mean, I don't seem to have anything in common with him. I don't know, it freaks me out to think that maybe I do, but... Uh, that would kind of make sense. Yeah, it's just... If he expanded the thing where... You know, foundlings reincarnate with some of their founders' traits, maybe that had some pushback. It's possible. I mean, do I see him anything like him to you, or not? No. Even... Even at the very beginning, I think when you just started to change into him, it was a very jarring shift. I really don't like this! <laughs> oh, God. I have a really bad habit of laughing when I'm nervous. I mean, is this all we know? I mean... What do we know he's done? I don't know anything. Cause he's he's the one who bought the chicken hut. Is both times. Cool. I was actually working to help repair that, so that's fantastic. He's ruining my hard work. Yeah, he. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. He's been doing stuff over at your base, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I saw that. I See, it freaks me out because, I, I mean, I believe you mentioned something about, like, places or things he's made, kind of almost being like a trigger for, I don't know, him showing up the best way I can describe it, and considering that I didn't build that and he did, I don't know what to do, because I... It's my house. <laughs> I mean... Theoretically, the stuff around my house should be able to stop him from doing stuff like that. It's kind of a protective field, if you look over there. I've actually- I don't think I've seen that. Wow, okay. Yeah, this stuff is unrefined right now, and there's definitely a lot of wiggle room to work on it, but it's protective field, so... Yeah. So hypothetically, this... This would help. Hypothetically, yes. But... Actually, so if I actually focused it on a particular area, as currently is just widespread. All right. So I mean, but I can't like stay here, right? I, I mean, unless that's what you're I, offering. I mean, yeah, that would basement are not really thing. I originally dug it out as storage, but then it just it was much more practical to just put it in my main base, so Huh. I mean you're sure that wouldn't be awkward or anything? I mean 
If it does, I'm probably the single most capable person on this server with dealing with it, so... I mean, I already moved some stuff out of my house because I was- I was worried. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't- I guess if I was staying here, I wouldn't, uh, want you to worry about storage and stuff. I have a place to put things. Yeah, no, I was just use. I just dug out the room for storage. I- the chests are completely empty. Yeah, I- I wouldn't even worry about chests, though. I- I have a place that I've been using to- to store some of my stuff, because, I, like I said, I've been really freaked out about what's going on by my house. So, I already started moving some of my stuff out, and I was gonna find a new place to live. Yeah, this works. If you want, I can just get a bed and a crafting table and you can call it home. Very nice of you. I mean, are you accepting? You're gonna give me mixed signals here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you think this would help, then yeah, because I was planning on moving out anyway. Thank you. So I guess, I mean, if we're still on this kind of topic, not the moving in thing, but, you know, the situation, is that, like, everything that you know? Because I want to make sure I'm completely up to date on everything. Let's run through the actual thing. So, he went into. You went into there. Sorry, I'm talking about him. There was the chest full of TNT there. There's that. He then showed me around the other places the hotel and the Sky Palace. Sky platform thing. Yeah. So, pl places I need to avoid. Hotel, maybe my house, uh, the platform. Uh, is that it? Uh, let's see what he did next. He went into a secret base, and. Oh, yeah, he had enough for three withers. So that's not a good thing. Fantastic, great. Oh, uh, by the way, I, I mentioned earlier that I already lost a cannon life. I don't know if this is important or anything. I died in a spot that I'm pretty sure he built, which was completely on accident. Was it like a slime and honey based piston door? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the place, most likely. Great! Okay, don't know if that's gonna be, you know, bad in the future, but I guess we're gonna have to see! Guess we'll have to find out. Yeah, okay. That happened, and we went over to Evil Egg. Don't know what that is, and don't know where it is, but I will keep an eye out. It's several thousand blocks off, I doubt you find it, even if you look for it without someone who knew where it is. So, okay, so I don't have to worry about that. But I'll, I'll keep it in mind. No. Yeah, that's probably his main base. Or at least his previous base. Alright, so there's that. Is that everything? Uh, then we went back to spawn. We chatted for a while about that stuff. He told me about the egg hunt. I think that's it. Alright. If we're talking about threat level here, how much should I be worried about him? Currently, it's less about how much you should worry about him, and more about how much you can do about him. Just Currently, I'm personally worried about it. You'll just just stay away from places and try not to do anything genocidal. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not like that, so... I guess that's basically it, to be honest. There's not really 
much to worry about doing. Okay. So, right, so that's everything then. Alright. Just my biggest fear is that we miss something, you know? And then. <laughs> yeah. God knows what would happen if we missed something. Okay, so. I guess I probably shouldn't be too worried about this. Uh, I guess just. Yeah. Just don't tell many people about it, I guess. That's something else we can do. Would it be better if I tell people, though? I mean... If you tell people who aren't already in close connection with you, like, like your close family is fine, because they're family, but yeah, uh, then they'll at best not trust you, and at worst, actively help you. I, I don't know, so, part of me feels like I should tell someone, though, what's going on, you know, just because, like, what if someone doesn't know, and then something happens? I mean, you said mom you had two mothers, and maybe tell the other one. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I talked to I talked to one of my moms earlier, and she's telling the other one I told her to just. But yeah, I'd recommend keeping the amount of people who know about this down, just safety wise. All right. What if it's someone, like, I really trust? If they really trust you as well, then maybe. But you're gonna wanna get to- you're gonna wanna know them well enough that you can gauge their response. Yeah. Do we know... Do we know kind of the extent of things that I have to avoid? Like, I know I have to avoid, like, buildings and stuff. Is there anything else? I mean... Not that I know of. He just said, if you need me, you'd tell me to go into one of those buildings I made. As a direct quote, basically. So... Okay, so buildings, that's... Alright, got it. That's all I gotta deal with. Which, that that should be easy, right? Because I already don't want to go in there. Yeah, just don't get peer pressured. <laughs> who would I get peer pressured by? I mean, you and my moms are the only people who know about this. Yeah, just... I mean, unless you told somebody. No, I haven't told anyone about this, so... Trying to keep it under wraps as best I can. Not something. It's good to be in the public eye. Alright, yeah, I, that makes sense, I guess. Alright. Thank you again for <laughs> kind of offering for me to stay here. I mean, it's no problem, really. I'll... A lot of this will probably pop up in your room from time to time. Just let it be there. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I, I, I just, yeah. I don't want to seem too bothersome, you know? I don't want to get in your way or anything. Yeah. Like, I'll just, I don't know, I'll just sit in the basement. Yeah. Just... I'll try and focus the spell into that area, so... Yeah. 
I'll see if I can refine it as well, so it should become more geometric and less splattery. Alright. Alright, so... If that's everything, I guess I should go kind of pack up the shack, what's left. Yeah. Do you want some help, or can you do it by yourself? I, I can do it by myself. I move most of my stuff out anyway. No. Alright. Uh, thank you again. It's no problem, really. Okay. So, I'm moving in there. Talk to my mom. Should be good. Yeah, I'll be alright. I'm just- I'm scared that- Cause I've- I've lived in the shack since I moved it- since I moved out. I, I really don't want to lose the shack, but I mean, I, if I have to, then I guess I have to. God, this sucks. I need to start moving some of my actual stuff out. I just started kind of stocking up. I don't think I... I don't think I told either of them, but... I mean, it, it sounds kind of morbid, but with this whole situation... I, I just want them to be safe. I really do. So... This is probably my best bet, right? Not only keeping myself safe, but keeping them safe. If anything happens to anyone because of me, I'm gonna be absolutely just- I'm never gonna be able to get over it. Well, I know I'm laughing about it, but... You know, you gotta laugh sometimes or you're gonna cry. I really need to stock up better. So I guess I guess I should start, you know, moving things from the shack into here now. I already moved my animals. All the bunks. If anything happens, I should give someone a place to stay. From what I know, he doesn't know this place exists. So. I want, I want to keep track of everything we figure out, because it's. I don't know if it's exactly good for me to know, but if anyone else ever needs to use this place, then I want them to have a leg up on what's going on. I didn't really build this place for myself. Although, I do think this is very fun, but... It's gonna be- it's gonna sound really morbid, I built this place in case something happens to me. Because, huh, I don't really know how this place works, or <laughs> I don't know how this whole possession thing works, so I don't know if I'm, <laughs> if I'm just 
gone one day, then I, I want people like I want people like they're about to be safe. So there's there's beds, there's bunks, there's information. I hope I never have to use this place. job keeping this place secure so far. He still doesn't know it's here. <sighs> I gotta go unload the shack. 